Morning live on SABC2, a very good morning to you. Now, earlier on this morning, we spoke to SABC News journalist Sherwin Bryce Peace, who has travelled to Boston and said uh, that uh, an investigation is already underway. The American authorities hard at work to establish who was behind the bombings uh, that shook the, the city of Boston, Massachusetts, that shocked the United States, of course, and that caused much panic around the world. Well, we panicked at home, and many people panicked here at home because there's a number of participants who've been there, including including athlete Renee Kalma. Her sister is Christine. She joins us this morning. Christine, good morning. Good morning. Well, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Are you calmer this morning? Is it, is um, it better? Yeah, no, I'm very calmer this morning yeah. and um, excited to see my sister this afternoon. Yeah, what time is she arriving? Um, she's arriving at 5 at our Tambu from Atlanta. Okay, just take us back to... To, to when the bombing happened. How did you hear about it? What then happened? Um, Renee actually tweeted that she was safe inside the hotel um, after the explosions at the finish line. And then my brother saw it and he called us. And we didn't know anything about it, so immediately we turned on the TV. Um, nobody really knew what was going on. Um, yeah. So it was just a lot of confusion. And then we called her and um, she sounded quite um, shook up. Yeah, how did she describe it to you? What was it like? Um, she was in tears and she said she was having um, lunch at the time when the explosions went off. Um, all the helpers came into the hotel and told the elite athletes who they were responsible for to go up to a conference room and where, where they just briefed the athletes what's happening. And um, at that time, they also locked the hotel so nobody can go in or out. How far is the hotel from the finish line? Um, they were about 200 meters from the finish line. Yeah, so that's not far. Eh? No, it's just around the, yeah. not even around the corner. Yeah. Was there, from what she told you, any shrapnel or anything that from the bombings may have hit the hotel? Was the hotel itself in any way affected? Um, I don't think the hotel itself was affected. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. So in your conversations with her, earlier on she was rattled and then she got better? Yeah, then she got better and settled down a bit. Um, but yesterday she said she's just going to stay in the hotel until they're about to leave. Yeah. Um, yeah, they weren't allowed to leave the hotel, seeing that okay. it was part of the crime scene. Yeah, so they were not able to visit that area as well? No. No. Was she traveling with a contingent of other athletes? Um, they were, all the elite, elite athletes stayed together, um, and then her boyfriend likely went with her. Yeah. Your feelings, just when you found out she was okay, how did you feel? Um, at first I was really confused when I saw the news, but when I spoke to her and could just hear like how she, um, rattled she is, it kind of hit me. And then I spoke to her yesterday again and you could still hear sirens in the background. So I don't think we really understand um, how it must feel yeah. to be there. How did she do at the marathon, by the way? Um, she didn't do as um, well as she planned. She came 17th, which I still think is very great, and I'm yeah. very, very proud of her. Yeah, what time did she come in at? Um, she hours ran two hours 37. Yeah, so the explosions then occurred about an hour and a half um, after It that. happened three hours after the first um, ladies came in. Yeah. So they were already back in the hotel, showered and everything. Yeah, was it her first Boston marathon? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's an experience, unforgettable as it were, not um, for the best I th reasons. I, I yeah. think even without the explosions, it would have been a great experience. But um, yeah, now it kind of just put everything back in perspective. Yeah, the scenes on TV for yourself, just looking at this, were you thinking what might have been earlier or those kinds of things? Um, I, th I try not to think about it because I th then I just really get upset. At the moment, the whole family and everybody is just really grateful that she's fine. Yeah, yeah. And in talking, I mean, the parents and everybody else engaging with Renee, everybody is now relaxed about yeah, it. Yeah, everybody's relaxed and um, yeah, just really happy that yeah. she's fine and coming home. Yeah. I hear you're a runner yourself. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so any thoughts of doing any international marathons anytime? Um, probably, maybe only next year. Yeah. Um, me and Renee train together every morning. Um, so that hopefully. That must be interesting to do. Um, in the mornings at five a.m., it's not that interesting. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah. it's it's nice to have some um, a passion to share with your sister. With your sister. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Christine, for joining us this morning, Christine Karma. My sister to Renee Kama talking about uh, Renee's experience and of course the family experience uh, with these explosions.